In the last class, we derived the relation. The theta function can be expressed as an integral along a real axis that as epsilon goes to plus zero, zero plus i over two pi, integration over energy that i over 2 pi exponential minus i, I over h by e t divided by e plus i epsilon. Note that this epsilon has a positive value. In the previous class, we also derived that fact that S matrix is a time ordered product of an exponential minus i over h bar potential in the interaction picture. Potential operator in the interaction picture is expressed like that. Integral from minus infinity to infinity, not this one. No integral. Is the Schrodinger's picture, Schrodinger picture potential so multiplied by time evolution operator for h0, unperturbed state, and its inverse. If we substitute this one to the potential in the interaction picture, we can get a complicated formula. And it let us just write down a few terms. The first one is just one. And second one, which is leading a uh, order V, is integral from, all right, I have complex number I in here, minus I, over H bar, and integration over time, right? And second term, I have double potential, integrate over T1 and T2, and they are ordered by time. In general, nth order term has the time ordered product divided by n factorial, and integration is over n variables, and there are n potentials ordered by time. All right, the first one is not so much complicated, but we have distributed those factors. Minus i has been attached to potential in each case. And I have h bar. h bar is attached to the time integral in the denominator. All right. Okay. The first non-trivial integral is the second order term, which has useful, uh, which has time ordered pro product explicitly. And if I multiply, uh, <coughs> apply this time ordered product to the integrand, I have two different terms. Theta t2 minus t1, f in general, let me just call this by f2, f1, f2 comma, uh, 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 f t2 comma t1. And second term is a theta t1 minus t2. In any case, this one, a minus b style, a appears on the left and b appears on the right. This is again, t1 appears on the left, left, right, right. Even though the two integrands are different, because we are integrating out both uh, t1 and t2, after integration, these two integrals are exactly the same. So, even though I have two factorial in the denominator, I just distribute this to two pieces. And for n cases, nth order case, I just distribute to the n factorial case. And all, all of them are equal. So, what I have to do is just evade the single integral among n factorial permutation cases. All right? Now, we'd like to submit, uh, substitute this theta function parameterized by integral. 
Okay? So let us continue to study the S matrix. S matrices can be expanded in powers in potential V and zeroth order S matrix is just one. It's identity. And first order case, it appears like that. And let me call this as S1. And S1 is this. And this guy, second one, this is S2, and so on. We'd like to integrate out the time information. Okay, that's our goal. All right. In the previous case, I, I have distributed factor h bar to time, and I have moved this minus i to the potential always. So I have nothing in the uh, overall factor. Here we find that if if the potential is independent of time, this potential will be moved out. And we re remember transition amplitude AFI is just the expect expectation value of the S matrix sandwiched by the initial and final state. So, zero order case, it's just delta IJ because S0 was identity, so AFI, zero order transition amplitude is just delta F5. It has been reproduced. And at order 1, if I make use of this one, sandwich, them, uh, sandwich this operator with the initial and final state, and if you assume the potential is independent of time, potential's matrix element is uh, pulled out, okay, and this H0 is replaced by the final state energy, and this H0 is replaced by the initial state energy. So, as a result, I have over a factor, final state, uh, initial to final state matrix element for the Schrodinger picture potential with minus I over a factor, and integral is over time over H bar, and exponential factors are replaced by I over H bar, energy for final state and energy of the initial state. And we know that this is just a 2 pi delta function for the energy. So it is 2 pi delta function that preserves the energy conservation times matrix element. That matrix element can be found to be just the matrix element from initial to final state for the Schrodinger picture potential with the over vector minus i. So we would like to extend this method to the higher order and first non-trivial case is order v, uh, order v squared and let us make use of this simplification. After substituting this theta function, we obtain this kind of form. Second order S matrix is, let us again distribute these factors minus infinity to infinity dt2 over h bar minus infinity to infinity the T1 over H bar and potential, all of the potential have minus I factor so that we do not have any over factor. As I already told you, we had N factorial in the denominator, so two factor in the denominator, but all of them are the same after integration. So I divide it by the, all of the pieces and it is equivalent to erase this one over n factorial and consider a single integral. So I do not have any over factor. And theta function has been replaced by 
this parametrization so let me just make use of this one that is expressed in terms of energy so energy integral with denominator 1 over 2 pi oh I have I missing I is missing here I is missing here so energy integral over 1 2 pi and this I appears here I over energy plus I epsilon okay and this is the interaction picture operator this is interaction picture operator for the potential we have two potentials we are interested in <coughs> the second order transition amplitude that is the matrix element sandwiched by initial and final for the S matrix so let us copy everything in here and these are uh, measures they are the same energy integral we will call this as a propagator energy propagator is here and I have substituted I have substituted the final state in here and it reads the energy of the final state energy of the final state okay energy of the final state and where is it this is energy of the final state this one and let me substitute an identity operator that includes every state and let me call a single state that is n then at t2 it reads the energy of the e nth state so we have ef a positive sign EN with a negative sign right the time T2 right but here we are considering T2 on the left so we we need to include this one somewhere so I have missed this vector exponential minus I over H bar E T2 minus T1 okay so I missed this factor and that factor appears here and I have this exponential that is to act on the initial state I and this H0 will, will be replaced by initial state energy and this H0 is acting on the nth state so nth state energy is on the left with a positive sign for at time t1 and at time t1 initial state energy oscillates with a negative sign all right and this f n and n i acts on these potentials in the shredding the picture so this is our next step reserve so what i have missed here I have minus I I have minus I here so if this potential matrix element is independent of time I can pull these out as a front factor and let me move these time integrals inside and let us integrate over T1 and T2 Okay. I have matrix element I2N and 2F where it, they are summed over N and I have energy propagator with I I over E plus E I epsilon and T2 integral with H bar and T1 integral with H bar in the denominator T1 over H bar and if I collect all the t two t two dependent terms uh, vectors, I have t two with negative sign with energy e, and we have e f final state energy and the state energy and propagator energy. Okay. 
How about that? This is T1 dependent integral, and there is also T1 dependent one. T1, I have minus minus a plus e plus e, a minus minus plus e T1, and remaining pieces T e i minus e n. The order has been flipped because this is positive sign and this is negative sign. All right. So we can integrate out T2 and T1. If we integrate over T2 and T1, what we find is I have energy conservation delta function. That is this 2 pi times final state energy is the sum of the propagator energy E and intermediate state energy. And second integral gives another delta function, that is 2 pi delta. Initial state energy is the same as the intermediate state and propagator energy. Okay. So, we have energy in here. We, we can integrate over the energy now. If I integrate over the energy, let, let us just integrate this delta function first. Then we find energy is a final state energy subtracted by intermediate state energy. So this E, denominator E, E in the denominator is replaced by final state subtracted by the intermediate state energy. Okay. And then, if I substitute E here, once again, what I get is EI minus EN minus EF minus EN. And EN, EN, intermediate state energy cancel. And finally, we get initial state energy subtract by final state energy. Therefore, uh, 2 pi and over a factor is a 2 pi, 2 pi cancels, and I have only a single power of 2 pi here. A matrix element for the finer to intermediate with minus i for each potential. And i in the numerator for a propagator. And propagator is of the form finer state energy subtracted by nth state energy. And there is the intermediate state all right so and this is a initial to and the state and the state to final state and the state to final state and still have energy conserving delta function just like what we have done in the previous case we just pull out the energy conservation factor that is 2 pi delta function so let me just pull this out as a 2 pi delta function and remaining piece can be defined to be minus i matrix element so this guy is the matrix element right so Okay, so this guy is a minus i matrix element of order 2. Okay, that is simply from we begin with i state i and matrix element with i n intermediate state n and matrix element of, uh, from uh, uh, n to final state and we have a propagator. So we can extend this method to nth order and arbitrary order. In that case, we will we will get always energy moment uh, energy conservation delta function 
from order 1 to infinity and remaining piece can be defined to be minus i matrix element of all that order and they are always expressed as a, from i to intermediate state and these kind of propagators are again and again repeatedly and final stage some intermediate state to the final state matrix element that's it